Good day there, folks, and welcome back to It's Pattern Corner. Of course, it's Pattern Corner. Welcome back. Today, we're going to be looking at planetarium projectors and uh, some of the cool things that you can do with them, some of the cool things that happened. Let's go. Some of the original concepts of things like planetariums are these kind of orreries, which, whoop, there we are, um, uh, a spindle, much the same way as a clock has multiple hands that rotate around the same axis, these spindles would orbit and move the planets around at a uh, rate of rotation so that one rotation of the Earth is equal to however many rotations of the Mars and, and sometimes I'd have a little moon rotating around the Earth. So, very cool. That's a little bit of a better view of that there. You can see the how they all stick out, little bits that rotate around moon, around Earth. It's cool things. I want to build one of these as well. That's cool. Anyway. What we're looking at is projectors. So something like this, that's what that actually looks like in real life. And you notice we've got these bulbs on the end and then these open bits in the center. Now that is because these parts are kind of like the, the, the rotating bits that are on the orreries from before. So they are able to project using a light, single points of light traveling through the sky so that you can track the paths of the planets on a spherical surface. But how did they do the rest of the stars? Well, here we've got uh, uh, these little arrays so that all of those little pucks would have been around the orb. These plates are actually individual pieces of copper foil wedged between two glass plates with pinholes of light, which are well, just pinholes, uh, which are sized according to the magnitude of the stars that are being produced. So that would be a big hole, and that would be a smaller hole, and then all of these tiny ones, even tiny. So what's interesting about these is obviously it's a complex mechanism and I love me a complex mechanism, but um, with the mix of this, which is move, projecting the moving images, with this, which is projecting the stars, and with usually they'd have a kind of a drum that projects an out of focus image, which is how you get the nice wavy sort of texture of the Milky Way. Uh, you've got something that can be wheeled into an area. It's usually set up in an area. Um, and with just a couple of lights and with a couple of holes, you can actually start projecting uh, full uh, views of the stars. And until modern, uh, like, laser-type projectors, uh, anything that wasn't lit up in this didn't have to be lit up because you're actually physically blocking the path of light. So you get it actually um, a more crisp, a more uh, individual pinpoint image uh, out of a mechanical projection system like this instead of a normal projection. With laser projectors now and, and OLED kind of screeny kind of things in all of that projection mechanisms, uh, you get a nice view. And also you can shift and move and show the sky, fade all that sort of stuff out. But um, it's a cool thing. And you can kind of make something like this. So, like this, we've got a piece of alfoil and a little light. And then, uh, see, we get... Stars, a very bad example, obviously, but interesting, interesting, and in, in, in you can do that easily. And you imagine if you've got better, um, better pins, better foil, uh, two glass plates, a better light, you can see the denser bits, brighter bits. I think that's a really cool thing. So that's a project, uh, or something that I believe uh, could be really fun for folks who want to uh, really try and get some some interesting projection stuff in there. Obviously, you could. Um, put more effort into uh, drawing out, say, constellations. Uh, you could have uh, just the Milky Way. Um, you could have multiple projectors with different images rotating around each other so that you can get an interesting uh, play of light. Um, you obviously don't even need to do it uh, of stars. If there's anything that you can think of that would look like that, um, glowworms, for example, which, again, kind of look like stars, but, like, you could have really interesting uh, structures. Obviously, things like holograms aren't possible. However, you know, you can imagine building a, a prop, an orb, an inscrutable sphere, uh, and you might have a projection surface that it could project on with all of these little details and stuff that you could do, a la, like, Treasure Planet or something. I mean, artistically, you could go absolutely wild with it. And I would like to. I'd like to uh, give things a go and show you what so, thank you for coming with us on Pattern Corner today. Um, hopefully, uh, we can continue doing some of these things and show you some of the things that I want to make 
uh, using the information from these patterns. So you can kind of see like uh, my interest in the microfilm and, and the way that you can transfer images onto that could also be used as a uh, projection plate for stuff like this. And places actually do use um, film plates, slot in projectors so you can change the scene. So I might look at uh, trying stuff like that, blending those two uh, ideas and making something uh, a little bit interesting. So thank you very much for watching, follow us along, and we'll see you next time.